Really? <sighs> if you guys insist. Hey, hello, how do you do? Shady Directs here. In mid-season one, Bojack tries to sabotage Diane and Mr. Peanut Butter's wedding in hopes of being able to get with Diane himself. Like usual, when he has a selfish problem, he involves Todd and Princess Carolyn in his plans. Princess Carolyn, however, is determined to remove Bojack's stupidity from her personal life after everything he recently put her through. So, to spontaneously enjoy herself, she turns to the nearest man and begins flirting with him. Yoo-hoo! Buy me a drink! Uh, okay. What's your name, Stud? Vincent. Um, adult man. Vincent Adult Man. And thus, the legendary Vincent Adultman was created. Vincent's adult man is three children stacked on top of each other. We never get to see the other two kids, but the one on top called himself Kevin. For some reason, you guys wanted me to analyze this guy, and even though I said I wouldn't, I can hardly resist a request when the finale is right around the corner. Personally, I don't think the writers intended for Vincent to have any deep meaning behind him. I think he was simply meant to be a joke character, a situation for us to laugh at every time he's on screen. But I am a firm believer that death of the author is a thing, though I do my best not to abuse it. Even if Vincent was meant to be nothing more than a joke, that doesn't mean other interpretations of him are incorrect. So let's explore his character from a different perspective and see what other possibilities he could add to the show. Vincent's story all starts with Princess Carolyn. Normally, Princess Carolyn is seen as one of the smarter characters. Similar to Diane and Bojack, she can see through a good chunk of Hollywood's nonsense the difference being, she usually chooses to embrace it because it's the world she's chosen for herself. So it's interesting that she's both the first and last person Vincent is able to fool into thinking he's an adult. Well, looking at the situation, it's actually not too surprising how she got caught up into it. Literally anyone claiming to be a man could have been standing there and Princess Carolyn would have flirted with him. So long as it wasn't Bojack and so long as it got her away from Bojack. We even see her do this later in season three, again, during a time where she was angry at Bojack. What? 50 teeth? Get out of here. Let me see. Uh... Would you look at that? And even though Bojack is trying to appeal to Princess Carolyn's intelligence, she's able to easily brush it off as unnecessary criticism, because that's what Bojack normally does. You should spend some one-on-one -on -one time with them. You mean one-on-three -on -three time? Because there are three of him. We get it. You don't like him. I'm actually not sure you do get it. Of course, that means that once Bojack has left the situation, Princess Carolyn should be able to see through Vince's disguise, right? You calling me to the bar the other night turned out to be the best thing that ever happened to me. I think I'm in love. Quite the opposite. By spending more and more time with him, Princess Carolyn begins to fall for him. This could be for one of two reasons. One, Princess Carolyn would have fallen for anyone who wasn't Bojack or on a similar level of awful as he was. Or two, because Princess Carolyn has been desperately trying to have a child, this leaks into her dating life. In a previous video, we explored how she was partially fulfilling the sensation of having a child by dating Bojack. Imagine how much more fulfilled she would feel if it was an actual child she was taking care of. This is boring. I want to go home. Vincent, be nice. He's a little cranky because he just got adult braces. But eventually, while Princess Carolyn never sees through Vincent's disguise, she does see through her own wants. You know, when we first met, I was looking for something in my life. And I wanted it so badly that I, I made myself believe you were it. But I think that wanting to believe something isn't the same as something being real. And this isn't real. Princess Carolyn learns that she's not actually attracted to Vincent, just attracted to the idea of being attracted to someone. So that explains Princess Carolyn, but what about the rest of Hollywood? Well, Hollywood is ready to believe pretty much anything put in front of them. In fact, you could see Vincent as the facade of Hollywood wrapped up in one big trench coat. He goes around telling everyone what he is and people just believe him effectively making him that thing he said he was. Vincent is faking it till he makes it, and boy does he make it. He says he's an adult, he gets a girlfriend in alcohol. He says he does business transactions, he gets a job as a businessman. And despite that most people think they have a grasp on who he is, very few are wiser to the truth. They think he's a good man because he can sit and listen well. They think he's fun because he likes to demonstrate his inner child. But they don't know that this whole time, he's fooling them. They don't know the real him. They don't know Kevin and the two children whose shoulders he sits on. Vincent 
is Hollywood. Lies and deception that people on the outside love to see and believe without actually getting to know what's beneath the surface. Just wanted to remind you guys that I don't believe any of this. I'm pretty sure it was all just a joke. This has been Shady Durags. So long. Farewell. Avida Sen. Goodbye.